Hi everyone, today I'm creating this Fifty Shades of Grey inspired makeup look. Um, this is a look that can be worn for Valentine's Day and I'll show you how to transition it from day to night. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's begin. I have started out by doing my base, so I've done my foundation, my concealer, my corrector, a bit of light contouring with my NARS Casino Bronzer and a slight bit of blush. Um, I'm starting out with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just going to use my ring finger, oh no I can't do that, <laughs> my ring finger just to apply that lightly over my eyes. Just going to drop that onto my eyes, onto both of them, and then just blend it in with my finger. I find that it's easier to blend with your finger rather than using brushes. This is actually one of the best primers that I've ever tried for the eyes. It makes it last all day, and it's just perfect really. It does what it's supposed to do. I'm just going to take that all the way up to the brow bone, just with whatever's left on my finger, and just a tiny bit under the eye too. There we go. I'll be using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm going to start with a MAC 239 brush, just a flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in with YDK. So I'll start from the inner corners of my eye. I'm just going to pack that onto the eyelid first. Really pack the colour in there. And there we have it. Now, using the same brush, just flipped over to the clean side, I'm going in with Verve, which is slightly darker. Get your brush right in there, smush the colour onto your brush and just tap off the excess. Now I'm just going to be placing that onto the middle of my eye. I'm taking care not to go above the crease. Blend the two colours where they meet together, just to make it appear a bit seamless. Next I'm switching to the Hair and Makeup Addiction Shader Brush and I'm going to go into Pistol, get that on my brush, same as before, tap off the excess and just literally take that onto the inner, sorry, the outer third of the eye. I'm taking this colour right up to the crease but not going over the crease. They're all quite cool toned in this palette and it doesn't really suit me so I will be using MAC eyeshadow just to go over the crease, um, just to warm things up a little bit. I'm just blending it in slightly with this brush. I quite like this brush because it's not so dense but it's um, a lot flatter so it's quite easier to blend and the Hair and Makeup Addiction brushes are just amazing I think um, and they're so affordable too. Now I'm going in with a clean blending brush. This is the MAC 217 and I'm just going to run it along the crease, blending out the colours. You can either do a windscreen wiper motion like this, or you can just slowly go around in small circles, either one. This is just so that there's no harsh line at the crease and so that the colours are all blended in quite seamlessly. I'm also going to flip my brush around, this is the flat shader brush again, and go into a bit of busted. It's still a cool tone but it's a slightly warmer brown and I just feel like that will make my eyes pop just a tiny bit more. So I'm just going to literally just on my outer V. This um, is a really nice pointy brush so you can really get right into the corner and turn it as you need to. And again, back with my MAC 217, I'm just going to blend these colours in. On the same brush, I'm going to go in with Tease, which is a matte shade. It's a torpy shade. Just get that onto my blending brush. Not too much, and just tap off the excess. I see quite a lot falling off there. I'm just going to go over the crease, over all that shimmer. Turn it into one colour with a bit of taupe, just blending that all out with, this is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, but it's a very large, a fluffy brush, so I think that's quite good just to use as blending all over the eye. I'm just going to use that. I quite like this just to blend out crease colours, it's very soft, it's very fluffy. It's similar to the MAC 217, but I would say maybe twice the size, so it's quite a good brush. Now I'm just going to take 
This is MAC Saddle, which is um, a very warm toned matte eyeshadow. Just get some on my e.l.f. blending brush and just go back over the crease. I only took a tiny amount just to warm things up. Then I'm going to go in with Foxy, which is the very first shade. Um, this is a matte highlight shade. Just a tiny amount on the brush, you don't want too much. I'm going to just place that just below the arch of the brow and just blend it out. And there we have it. So I'm now going to take my MAC 263 brush, which is an angled flat brush with MAC Fluid Line in Black Track, which is a gel liner. I'm just going to line my upper eyelid. I like to start into the, in the middle. going to run the black track along the lower lash line. I'm also going to run it along my waterline. And now to attempt the tight line. <laughs> got a flat shader brush here from Sonia K Shark, the number 105. And then I'm going to go into this with Busted, which is the second last colour. Tap off the excess. Just run that all along the lash line. You need to go back in on your brow. You might be able to see I've got a tiny bit of fallout here. This always happens, I get a bit carried away with blending. It goes down, but that's not a problem. So I'm just going to go in and do my mascara with my Lancôme Hypnose Mascara. If you can do this with your mouth closed. <laughs> Sorry, that's not a good idea. Just going to do this with my mouth closed. Just going to blend it all over my lash line. I've put about four coats of mascara on now. There's a little bit of fallout just on that eye really. But I can see that the concealer needs to be topped up there and there's just a bit of fallout. So I'm going to go back in with my NARS Creamy Radiant, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And just lightly go over. I've just lightly dotted that around in the areas that I need it. And I like to use the Real Techniques setting brush I think it is, yeah setting brush, just to blend that out. It's a lovely tapered brush so you can get right into the corners of the eye with this and it's quite light and small so I think it's perfect for your eye area. I'm now going to just go in with my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Translucent transparent finishing powder, that was a mouthful. I'm just going to, same brush, just dip my brush in there. I'm just going to pat this. This is just to stop the concealer sitting in any of the fine lines under my eyes. The concealer tends to crease. So that's the eyes complete now, and all that's left to do is the lips. I'm going to go for the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in. 07 Nudist, so it dries matte on the lips. It's got a lovely velvety feel to the lips and it, does, it is very, very long lasting. It's not drying at all. I think it's a beautiful shade for Valentine's Day. It's a lovely soft pink. If you are doing this look for the evening, I would also recommend MAC Ruby Woo. Um, and I would either wear that with cherry or brick liner. Um, a matte shade is always a good go-to for this look because all of the eyeshadows that I've used bar the crease colour are quite shimmery. So you don't want a lot of shimmer and a lot of shine on your face. But this is a completed look. 
what my hair's doing today, but this is the completed look. Let me know what you think. Please like this video, comment down below, and let me know. If you do try to recreate this look, please let me know in the comments below, or tag me on Instagram, send me a tweet. I'll leave all of my details in the description box below. Whatever you do on Valentine's Day, I hope you have fun. See you next time. Bye.